Welcome to my third, fourth channel, Extra Mr. Sunshine. Uh, I'm trying something out. I'm trying to diversify and spread myself across different um, different channels for different reasons. I've got Mr. Sunshine Baby, the main channel, House of Canada for all House of Commons clips, Northern Patriot for American culture and Ameri pop culture and American politics, and now Extra Mr. Sunshine for more of like daily stuff because the way the algorithm works, I want you know, the bigger videos to be on Mr. Sunshine and this to be the extra video. So welcome back to another video, everybody. Welcome back to a whole new channel. I hope that you're here to stay. Don't forget to subscribe. Give a like, you know, this is a bit more chill channel, less uh, formal. Today we're taking a look at Fox News just completely obliterating Justin Trudeau. Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau is a rather silly, fatuous man who touts multiculturalism, but really wants a dictatorship of ideas. <laughs> yes, this is a real, this is the real Laura Ingram, 4.6 million followers here let's take a look at what she's got to say we've ruffled some feathers up north as in canada all right over the weekend prime minister justin trudeau expressed his outrage that canadian muslims are thinking for themselves and expressing strong disagreement with moves to normalize radical sexual teachings in schools leave our kids alone leave our kids alone Many immigrant communities supported Trudeau. And now what's he saying? He's saying the Muslims are being brainwashed. We've always had a concern. It's what's happening in our schools is getting worse and worse and worse. And now they've crossed the red line. Our children are our red line. Rather than perhaps reconsidering his nation's lurch to push these transgender and non-binary propaganda things on kids, Trudeau pulls a Hillary. Yeah. He blames the vast right-wing conspiracy. There is an awful lot of misinformation. And disinformation. Because of alt-wing right -wing extremist media. <laughs> oh my God. These are people in the far right who have consistently stood against Muslim rights in the Muslim community. But they are weaponizing the issue of LGBT. Of course, the angle was the first in cable to showcase Muslim parents, those who are fed up with sexual indoctrination squads and who are now working with social conservatives to stop the madness. Now, as for Trudeau, he's in his job for one reason, his last name. Well, maybe, maybe for another, maybe for his hair. It's pretty good. Now, personally, I love my Canadian friends, and it's a gorgeous place. But we're not about to take moralistic lectures from people who allow China to directly influence their elections or to push more people to kill themselves or to turn truckers into public enemies number one. Trudeau is a rather silly, fatuous man who touts multiculturalism but really wants a dictatorship of ideas. Anyone who challenges his sacred cows may be canceled, punished, or, in some cases, even jailed. It's getting horrible in the censorship of Bill C-11 and Bill C-18 with Meta now fighting um, Canadian government, Canadian news outlets by restricting access to Canadian news on their platforms. I mean, Trudeau is getting what he wants, a full-blown dictatorship. And we'll actually be lucky if we reach the next election in time to potentially vote ourselves out. I've been pretty open about this on my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, that I'm pretty optimistic that we can vote ourselves out of this and I don't think it's too late and I don't think that by the year 2025 the next scheduled federal election will be too late but as things are going uh, it's not looking good man it's not looking good so I'd love to know what you guys think about this do you think Trudeau is on route to reach a full-blown dictatorship is I guess the consensus of this full video I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments thanks for watching don't forget to drop a like and subscribe especially on this new channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next one